Hey everybody, it's Timothy Luke here, and we're talking about Gnome Sequencer Enhanced 1.1. This was released a couple of hours ago, and before I start, I'm going to show you, this is my interface add-ons folder, and when I open up Draked Macros, and I open up the Paladin file, this is what it actually looks like. Right? I'm doing this so that you can see my sequences are still very much in English, they're in US English, they're exactly as they were before. But what I'm doing here is, today we're playing on the Spanish client. So, I don't know what half of these words mean. I'm guessing that they do the same things as they did before. Um, I don't even know what tierras de la... I, I'm not even going to try. So, but basically I'm running on the, um, the ESMX locale, which I think is uh, Mexico-Spanish. Um, Again, I, I don't know the language, I'm not going to pretend to be an expert, but this is Gnome Sequencer 1.1 running in Spanish. So, what should happen is as soon as this loads in, I should hopefully still be in the order hall for Paladins. I should be able to walk up to a target dummy, and without making any changes, I should be able to just walk up and hit stuff. So, I'm, I know I'm showing you the boring loading screens and all that kind of stuff. It's just literally a case of I didn't want you to think there was smoke and mirrors or that I was making it up. Um, or that I translated all this stuff to, to Spanish. This is literally how it works out of the box. So, to do this, you do need a couple of things. You need Gnome Sequence Enhanced 1.1. And on top of 1.1, you need an actual uh, mod that I've got called... GSE Sequence Translator. Now that's a separate download from Curse and we'll talk about it in a sec. But I've got my DB Ret macro where they normally are. So what I will do is I will take that off. You know, just take that off the bar. Do a slash GS. If I go to my personal macros, there's my DB Ret one. It still says click DB Ret. So it doesn't turn around and have any other smoke or mirrors or other bits. Drag, I should be able to go straight up to this target dummy, and away we go. Alrighty, so now that we've proven that it works, let's go through what it actually is doing. So, the, yeah, so GSE 1.1, if you download it, you'll still get the same three parts. You get GS Core, you get GS Drake Macros. There's a couple of updates and a couple of changes and some other bits and pieces. Um, some updated new stuff, some tweaks to some of the older ones, um, and there's also the sequence editor. But there is a new one that we've added in, and it's, it is a separate download from Curse. Uh, that's not the window I'm after. Um, and it's this one here, GSE Sequence Translator. Now, GSE is around about 120k in size. The translator is about 20 meg, so it's a completely separate download. So if you only ever play on one language, and that language is the American English, you don't need this, right? So you don't have to download it. It's just there for convenience. But this is literally, and I appreciate the irony of this, this is literally for the people that are playing on Spanish, Italian, German, Russian, Korean, Japanese clients, and they're playing on all of those different types of clients. Um, and because... The sequences all have to be written in the language of the client. All right, so one of the problems people had in the past was we'd go to Wild Lazy Macros, you'd get this great sequence, I'd come across, put it in game, and because the sequence is in English and it's not in French, it doesn't work. So, so the sequence translator, the first thing you do need to do is you need to turn it on. Right? So you need to actually tick this box. Um, it checks that the translator exists as a separate add-on, and it won't let you tick it if you don't. So if you don't have the macro translator and you try and tick this box, it's just going to pop up a message saying, please go and get this from Curse, you don't have it, it's not there, stuff. But if you've got it and it's in place, there's a couple of changes. The sequence editor has got these extra tabs. So it's basically got, my current language is ESMX, so I go load sequence, I go db ret, and voila, all of this stuff is now in Spanish. It's not in English, it's in, it's in the, the, the Spanish translation. This other one down here that says lang equals esmx, this is basically telling GNOME Sequencer that this has actually now been reconfigured as an esmx language, so please don't try and retranslate it from Spanish to Spanish, because that would be rather crazy. 
The other tab here is this one that says Translate To. So if you click on Translate To, this will pick up the languages that you know. Now the reason why this is 20 meg in size at the moment is because there is something like 211,000 different strings that um, when you turn around it, that are tied to spells. Of that, I've cut that list down to about 84,000. Um, I need to get it down to about two or 3,000, but it's figuring out which of the two or 3,000 matter out of the 84,000, and that's gonna take me a little bit of time. So, <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, I couldn't quite get that done in the last couple of days. But it's, it's literally a case of we've got a repeatable process and this file will get down from 20 meg. It'll, it will become smaller in time. Um, performance wise, it's not actually, if you're not, not using these languages, they're not actually doing anything. So they're not tying up resources or tying up bits and pieces. They're just sitting there. But to prove this works, I'm going to translate this to English because that way he, I, can, I can read it. It kind of helps. But there's, yeah, there's Italian, French... Um, Brazilian Portuguese, um, German, Spanish Spanish, and Mexican Spanish. All right. So if I go E in US, this is all now changed back to things like Judgment, Crusader Strike, Blade of Judgment, Consecration, Crusade, Wake of Ashes, Templar's Verdict, all the things that you know are normal, useful, everyday type of stuff. So that's the sequence translator. Um, so if I go and now turn that off, uh, sequence translator require I think that says require reload or whatever all right if I walk up to my target dummy nothing happens so I'm clicking the button nothing's occurring that's because the sequence is written in English and not in um, Spanish sorry I just had a complete mental blank so I bring up the editor without the translator it's back to literally how it used to be um, if I go db red, it's English exactly as it was straight in the Lua files that we started with. So if I, tr so the only other part is if I try and turn the translator on, this is the message that I was talking about earlier, uh, use macro translator. It's probably left it on because I did a restart. I need to fix that. What it should be doing is it should be spitting out a message saying you don't have the macro translator, go grab it, go get it. So that's that stuff. The other things that are in 1.1. Now, these are the things that matter for everybody else that doesn't play on normal language stuff, is there's a new um, there's a new one of these options. This one says require target to use. So what it does is that in the pre-macro and the post-macro, it puts some stuff in place to say, okay, I'm, I've got a target, I'm working with this target. If that target dies and changes, don't do anything with the macro until I change to another target. All right, so it's literally a stop macro. So... This was contributed by a couple of guys, uh, by, sorry, not a couple of guys, this was contributed by a player for the people that are playing range guys, like, I know there's a couple of hunters that are floating around doing stuff, and they've gone, but this just randomly picks that guy way over in the back corner out of the room, and we weren't ready for it type stuff. So it's more useful for range classes than it is for melee classes, but it's, it's there, and it means you don't have to put it into the pre or post macro, you just tick the box. Now... This other stuff down the bottom here, this is some debugging stuff that I've added in. So if you turn around and go enable mod debug, you'll get a message saying debug mode enabled. But if I tick one of these ones like the prevent sound errors, you'll then get a whole chunk of stuff coming out that talks about what it's done to the pre-macro and post-macro. So in this case, you know, it literally the debug stuff goes into some really deep, 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 deep stuff. So you turn this on, you're going to get a whole lot of spam about just about every action that GSE is doing behind the scenes. Um, I've put it in so that I could figure out problems with the translator. But I found it extremely useful for things like, is this button working? Okay, so I've now got a console enable sound effects one. All right. If I turn this off, I'll get a whole bunch of stuff where that's been taken out of the post macros and out of the pre macros. Um, so if I turn on, yeah, so if I turn that back on again, there should be a, a pre-macro line that says, ooh, set it as zero, and then there should be a post-macro line that says set it as one. So yes, this is working the way it's supposed to do. So there's that stuff. So the, the big things for 1.1 is the debugs. It's the new macros that have been updated in Drake's macros. I'm not going to go through that. There's some of the ones that had to be renamed because they weren't working because of bugs and other bits. Um, so you may have to do a, a GS clean macros. Um, yeah, so one of these. So 
So clean orphans. Um, and it got rid of this one called proof test that was floating around. So you may have to, you may have a couple of those ones that have changed names and you may have to move them. Um, it's not that they were broken for everybody. It's just they were broken for some people and others. And there's a couple of new ones that were added in because people said, can you add this in? Um, some people are still reporting back that they've updated Drake's macros. They've edited those files and updated the mod and it's overridden. Again, grab the mod called GS My Macros. Right, you'll find this on my own interface. It's linked from both there and Curse. Um, I'm still seeing this stuff in Spanish. It still just scares me. So interface, add-ons. This one, GSE My Macros. So it's a, literally, it's Drake's macros without the macros. It's just a blank shell. If you edit that, no changes are ever going to occur to your local stuff. If you edit Drake's macros, I do an update. It gets written over the top, and you may have, you, you've may you lost whatever changes you've made. Um the whole point of keeping this stuff separate is so that I can update the mod, but you don't lose your sequences. And that's what that My Macros is all about. There's also been released uh, this week a specialist language pack for Russian, and there's also been a specialist druid pack. So there's a guy that's gone and made a whole bunch of macros specifically for the different types of, you know, for the different specs of druids, and he's released that on Curse as its own separate add on. So it's literally a case you grab it, download it, throw it in. Um, GSE will pick up the fact that, oh, I've got this other thing. So I've got Drake's macros, I've got my macros, I've got this other Druid macros one. I'll just pick that up and carry on. So my thought for over time is that people will move beyond the stuff that I've bundled with Drake's macros and they'll move on to better ones. There are better ones always evolving all the time. If you go to www.wowlazymacros.com, um, there is literally people throwing out stuff always. They're going, hey, I've done this, I've tweaked this, I've done this, can you have a look at it, can you have it tested, is this good, is this bad, have I forgot this bit? Um, just in the weeks before beta, there was a whole bunch of stuff to Shaman where I think it was Lava Lash was nerfed one day and buffed over the gazillion times the next day and then nerfed the day after and then buffed and then nerfed and then buffed. So there was a whole bunch of guys there that were basically testing these things almost daily going... This worked yesterday, but I've take, tweaked it today to be this, and this stuff's changing. So, don't don't please don't take that Drake's macros is the best. It's literally probably one of the worst. It's just a place that I wanted to include enough so people could get started, could get used to it. They had some examples. They had some things that they put them on in day one, and went, ah, oh, okay, it does stuff. Um, that that kind of makes sense. But apart from that, I think that's everything that's in 1.1. Um, again, I am just overwhelmed by the things that people in the community just send me notes about. A lot of people, I get a lot of people actually talking about I have arthritis or I have carpal tunnel syndrome or I have this other thing that prevents me from play playing the game and this is really helping. So I, I'm just, yeah, I'm just astounded that it's like that. But anyway, good luck, have fun, kill lots of stuff, and may all your drops be legendary. I'll see you later on. Bye.